Hey guys, welcome back to Atomic Underground. My name is Nick. This is Season 1, Episode 18, where we build the gantry crane over the access portal. This video was shot in the middle of May 2020. Gary came back out to help me mount up the mounting plates. So we decided to attach the gantry crane to the side of the access portal. The reason for that being the wooden roof that I put on uh, late last year will eventually be replaced by steel, and I didn't want to have to take the gantry crane off to do that. Four mounting points for the gantry crane. Each one has eight of these bolts. Uh, you first drill the holes out with a roto hammer and then uh, use a uh, pneumatic impact wrench to put them in. Unfortunately, we had, I believe it was a one gallon compressor or a two gallon compressor, and uh, these bolts take a lot of force to put in. So we got about half a bolt before we ran out of air and had to wait a few minutes. The foam that you can see on the outside of the access portal is actually there to protect the uh, Tyvek wrap and the tar that was used to seal the access portal. When the previous owner built it up to the surface, uh, he was worried that when he backfilled the dirt, it would damage the uh, waterproofing, so he added that foam. It uh, looks terrible, but it does the job. Our access portal does not leak. And the little piece of Tyvek that hangs over the foam there on the top is a great uh, nesting place for mud daubers and hornets. Um, so I will be very happy at some point in the future when we can get some gravel to backfill the access portal up to the surface. Uh, right now, as you can see, it sticks up three to four feet, depending on which side you're on, and I would like it to be level to the ground. In this particular spot in the property, the water table is about five feet below ground level, so it's not uh, much of a flooding issue there. So we mounted the brackets up on a Friday, and then on Monday, uh, I was not able to be out on the site. But GT from Death Wears Bunny Slippers came out, and uh, the welder is also named Gary, and this is the uh, guy that did all the GT's welding. So they came out, and uh, we also had to hire a tractor operator to bring that tractor with the forks out because this metal is just too heavy for uh, even three to four guys to pick up as high as we needed to go with it. And then GT, as you can see, also brought his drone out and got some uh, excellent footage. The first step in uh, putting the gantry crane actually on the access portal. Um, this is the uh, 20, I believe it's 25 foot beam that's actually going to carry the uh, trolley and the crane back and forth. I elected to have it stick out both sides about seven feet off the access portal, and that way we can bring a truck to either side. And uh, when we're pulling out our scrap winnings here over the next uh, six months or so. We can uh, have a bin on one side and a truck on the other, depending on what we're bringing out. So for the next few minutes here, uh, you're going to watch as the uh, actual steel for the gantry crane goes up. Enjoy.
So I finish up welding up the uh, gantry there. You can see the uh, wooden hatch at the top of the elevator shaft. So this gantry is centered, or sorry, the, the trolley beam is centered right over that hatch. And what that uh, hatch is going to get replaced with will be a steel hatch. I'm either going to do it hinged in two pieces like the original was on the uh, Titan IIs, or I'll do a single hatch that you can pick up with the crane and move out of the way. Right now we've got it framed with 2x6s underneath just in case some really smart person decided to jump on top of that or set a ladder on top of it. Because um, if you went through that hatch, it's a 40-foot fall of death. And so when we do remove all that framing, I need the hatch to be able to withstand probably four to 500 pounds just to make sure that it's safe. And uh, steel will allow us to do that. it guys now that the uh, gantry's up we just have to make a mounting bracket uh, for the trolley to actually carry the uh, crane we bought i bought a cheap one at harbor freight probably won't last that long um when i can i'm gonna come back in and put a nice uh chain hoist crane in there and uh now it's time to start scrapping out a missile silo until next time thanks for visiting atomic underground